you're using my mummy's recipe. Mummy, uh, uh. This better be good. It'll be great. Hmm, does your daddy have a recipe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm alive again. Hello, everybody. It's Josh Thomas here. Today, we're going to be talking about vintage McDonald's Halloween goodness. I don't know if you're like me. Maybe you are. And if you are, I'm very sorry to hear that. But yeah, I grew up in the 90s. Hashtag 90s kids. This is the worst intro ever. Listen, McDonald's had a lot of cool stuff going on around Halloween season in the 90s. They don't really do it so much anymore from what I know. So I thought, why don't we make a video and that way we can just forever live in the past and enjoy classic Halloween McDonald's fun. So that's what we're gonna do here tonight. So grab some hot apple cider or actually grab some chicken McNuggets and a McDonald's burger, what are they called? Big Macs, that's it. I don't know what I'm saying. Just get some snacks and let's do this, shall we? All right, here we go. We are gonna start off with some McDonald's Halloween Happy Meal boxes. I have had this in my possession since like the beginning of the year and I've wanted to open it for so long and now I can, so let's do this. Oh my golly gosh gee, here they, I got three of them? I don't even remember how many I ordered. Well, let's assemble these beasts, shall we? Let's see how quick, I'm gonna feel like a McDonald's worker from the 90s. What do you do? Oh, you just do one of these? Okay. These were, these seemed so much bigger as a child. As an adult, this seems like so small and teensy. So, first of all, what do we got on here? Monster McNuggets. Oh, look at all this cool retro artwork. Got a little Frankenstein. Frankenstein's holding the mummy McNugget. That skeleton doesn't have his hand. There's a mad scientist. The monster scared the spider, mouse, and skull away from where they belong. Look all over the box to see where each one came from. I love it. Gather round, little goblins, and I'll tell you a story. The creepy tale of the gory laboratory. Doctor So Strange was playing with science to build a machine that makes little things giants. You can open up this little door and the McNugget will come out. Oh my God. Which two pumpkins are exactly alike? A, B, C, D, E, and F. Well, let's see. I think D and B are the same, right? No, their stems are the opposite way. E and A, A and E are the same. Yeah, A and D are the same, got it. I'm as smart as a second grader now. Oh my God, he's taking a, what? He's taking a bath in a sweet and sour sauce container. <laughs> oh, and he's got a bat scrubbing up his head. Ah! Oh. Why did the vampire go to the ballpark at midnight? Why did the vampire go to the ballpark at midnight? To practice his, to, for batting practice. He wanted to turn into a baseball bat. What, what does Witchy Mc, her name is Witchy McNugget, by the way. What does Witchy McNugget do when she gets hungry at the vampire hotel? Oh, I think I got it. She orders broom service. I'm pretty sure I gotta be right on this one. Yeah, she, ah, I did it. I'm right. Yay. It's she orders broom service. We got a maze here. Help the cat through the maze to McBoo. His name is McBoo? How many bats, vampires, witches, and ghosts can you find all over this box? What other kinds of creatures can you find? Does McDonald's put this much effort into their Happy Meal boxes anymore? This is a toy in and of itself. Oh my God, I didn't realize it before, but the vampire dude, He's got a picture of his grandpa on the wall and it says, Great Grampula. Look at him. Why did the monster hug Mummy McNugget? Why did the monster hug Mummy McNugget? Because he wanted to rap because he was into necrophilia. This is probably not something that I should admit, you know, because I'm 33 years old. But I could be entertained by just looking at these boxes for hours. Back in the day, McDonald's would often make little plastic plates that you could buy, and they were usually related to the holidays. And of course, there are, I think, about three of them for Halloween. I don't know the exact number. I think there are three. And I have one of them. This is probably the coolest one, too. It depicts all sorts of McNugget buddies hanging out in a very dangerous location, actually. That looks like it's really easy to just fall off of that cliff there but I guess that's the way monsters live their life, dangerously. But uh, yeah, um, I love this artwork. If you, what is the deal with uh, Count Dracula Nugget over here? 
He's got uh, quite the belly. If you look closely, he looks a little bit like he's been eating a few too many Big Macs. How is he possibly flying with a gut that big? Also, it looks like they're doing a great job making some of McDonald's secret sauce over here. By the way, the house has eyes in the windows, which for some reason I'm a big fan of in cartoons when they do that. And the moon has an M on it. It's like uh, Ronald McDonald is Batman or something. That's the Ronald signal whenever there's trouble. Anyways, Halloween plates. And um, fun story. It's not really a fun story at all. It's a very mundane, stupid story that I don't even really need to share because it goes nowhere. I bought this at an antique store. And I was really excited to see it there. And it was only $5, which is cheaper than what they are on eBay. And for some reason, the fact that I bought it in a store made it much more special. And this is my first Halloween with it. A lot of the things I'm saying right now make me sound lonely, but I swear I'm not. I have my McNugget Buddy plate. Do you not see it? So when I think of, um, when I think of classic Halloween McDonald's memories from my childhood, these plastic bags definitely are pretty special to me. Uh, these were given out in 1990. I think that you didn't buy these. I think this is what like the Happy Meal came in and they're so neat. We got a witch, we got a Frankenstein's monster, and of course we have a ghost. Um, I, this is all three of them. There were three to collect. I bought these a couple years ago on eBay. These are not my original ones. Um, but yeah, I just like these. They got really cool artwork. I'm a fan of this style. McDonald's had like a really good team of artists back in the 90s. Now you might not know it, unless you are aware of these bags. <laughs> what about they? I can't hold them up straight. I'm trying to hold it to display them and it just, it's not working. They're being floppy. Anyways, why is that making me giggle? I don't know, it's a, it's a late night here. There's two more things about these bags I wanna bring up. The first thing is, they have a front side and a back side. Look at that. You ever wonder what the back of a ghost looks like from the 1990s? Right there. I always found it a little weird that he has clearly um, patched up his own body. What? So he's got some serious medical problems going on. I mean, he is a ghost, so he's already dead, so I guess he's fine. But still, I thought that was a little weird. Oh my god! He's got a bow tie or a... Wait for it. Boo tie! I'm clever. We got the witch and the backside of the witch. What's going on with her? We can almost see up her dress. That's... Quality. And then here's the uh, Frankenstein's monster, and here's the back. So it's just cute how they made the front, and then they were like, oh, you know, let's go the extra mile, let's put a backside as well. Um, this Frankenstein's monster has rats infesting his bottom, which, honestly, I think that's a bigger problem than the ghosts. What is with butts? There seems to be a lot of trouble with butts going on here. I don't know, maybe I'm looking too far into it. Anyways, the coolest thing, about these trick-or-treat bags from McDonald's is that these suckers glow in the dark. Yeah, that's right. Look at this. How cool is that? So yeah, these are the uh, these are the McDonald's 1990 trick-or-treat bags. We have got pillows of the Halloween McNugget buddies. We've got our ghosty friend here, Frankenstein's monster, and also, Count Nugula, or whatever his name was. But look at this! Actual pillows of the McNugget Buddies. I'm glad that didn't spill my spiced hot apple cider. I think these are the three they made. They might make more. I got these as a gift from, I think, my mom or my sister. I can't remember. But um, this is my first year being able to display them on my bed. Uh, and I love them. They're so cool. I can't remember what these are from, like who makes them, or even if they make them anymore, but... They are the McNugget Buddies in the form of something you can snuggle. That's a 10 out of 10 in my book. Okay, so this is not officially from McDonald's, but it's pretty clear that it's inspired by the classic um, Happy Meal Boo Buckets from the 90s. This is from Creepy Company, and it's just a t-shirt that has some really cool artwork on it. I don't think they sell this one anymore, but it's a, a little monster boy juggling Happy Meal uh, Boo Buckets. Were they called boo buckets? Something like that, but it's pretty cute. I'm still back here, by the way. Mm. 
I'm dizzy now. Oh, we've got the McNugget Buddies. I, I don't understand why they don't continue to do these periodically or bring them back. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of them here. I don't have the whole collection. I have the entire first series, but then the second series that they did for Halloween, I don't have all of them, but I do have a few. Look at that little face. He's just dying to be put into a Frankenstein costume. I don't want to get emotional here. But you know what my favorite part of the Halloween McNugget Buddies truly is? It's McDonald's... It's McDonald's telling every small child in the world, particularly America, that you don't have to just be a simple McNugget. You can put on some Frankenstein clothing and a hat, and you can be whatever you want to be. And let's say you're a particularly strange child. Let's say you wanted to maybe be a spider Frankenstein's monster. You can do that. Actually, don't do that. That just looks weird. The ghost is particularly strange because it's like usually there's two pieces to dress them up with. But the ghost is just a ghost, which is a little bit limiting for the ghost McNugget. What's his name? McBoo? I think his name is McBoo. But with a name like McBoo, what are you going to be? You're going to be the ghost, because ghosts say boo. I don't want to be all, you know, stereotyping here, but that's what a ghost does. Pumpkin Boy has a really derpy looking face, and I accept him. Maybe even more with the derpy face. His hat does not stay on. His lid does not stay on very well. So that is my collection of the uh, McBuddies, McBoo Buddies. What are these called again? I don't know, the McNuggets that like to pretend they're something else. This, um, this final piece is a uh, little big. This is the uh, grand finale of the video. I can't get it out of the... Okay, is it upside down? Tell me. It's, it's upside down. Oh. Okay, um, hi, uh, so this is something I'm very excited about. This is a store display. I could be burning the box right now. There's a lot of candles around me. Hold on, hi. No, we're good. So this is a store display of the classic Boo Buckets from the 1990s. I think it's 94, but look at this. I got this on eBay. It says... Halloween Happy Meal P POP Kit, opened by October 6, 1994. Oh, 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 we're a little late, but better late than never. Um, this carton contains one McDonald's. So you might not know it if you're younger, but back in the 90s, McDonald's were a lot smaller and people were a lot tinier. So this box, you might be like, how does this box contain an entire McDonald's restaurant? It does. Oh my God. There's a lot of stuff in this box. Um, okay, this might take a while. You know what? I got an idea. Let's use some Halloween magic to instantly assemble this Boo Buckets display from 1994. Here we go, ready? McNugget time for me. McNugget time for you. Bippity boppity bippity boppity ah ah. Boo! This is another large piece. And you guys can't see me. But I'm back here. Hi! Happy Halloween! So this is something that no human being should probably own. It has no real purpose, um, but I love this. This is amazing. We have all of the Boo Buckets. Now these are not the original Boo Buckets, just like the McNugget Buddy things. Um, I just call them things. That was offensive to them, but who cares? They're plastic and not real. Um, but yeah, so this is like the second series or so, I believe. 1994, I think they came out in like 89 originally, so there's a few variations. We got the witch, we got the ghost, and we got the jack-o'-lantern. This might go in my bedroom, not gonna lie. This is pretty cool. I don't really know what else to say about it, other than I own a Halloween boo bucket display from McDonald's in 1994. There was some junk in the box that I think definitely warrants a look-see. So I gotta show you a few things that came along with this because of course that box was intended to be given to a McDonald's in 1994 in early October. I am going to win the hell 
out of this competition. So this is Nick or Treat. It's the Nick or Treat sweepstakes. All I gotta do is fill out this entry form and 24 grand prize winners will be chosen to play Nick or Treat live. I think I got it in the bag. I, th it probably is not active anymore. So I'm probably not gonna win. But if maybe if I walk out my door and throw these into the sky as hard as I can, they will somehow enter some sort of time warp dimension and they'll blast back to 1994 and they'll hit a young Josh Thomas in the head. And then I'll say, eh, what? The nigga, what? I'm a small version of Josh and it's 1994 and these are still applicable and I can still win this. Scare your taste buds, order large fries and a high C, a real monster snack. Ooh. By the way, you should, uh, you can punch this part out and that's where the cup is supposed to go in on the store display. On the back it says, be one of 24 kids to win an IBM Aptivia PC. Ooh, top of the line. Or a haunted limo ride. <laughs> what? Or this grab bag of a denim Nickelodeon jacket. Are you afraid of the dark on VHS? This is incredible. We've also got this. This was meant to be put up in the store, showing all the buckets and which ones you can get. You can get, uh, oh, that's right. They have cookie cutter lids. I totally forgot about that. I'm gonna win this Nick or Treat sweepstakes if it's the last thing I do! Hey! I wanna thank you guys for joining me on this trip back to the past of the 1990s and Halloween McDonald's. I actually had a lot of fun recollecting this stuff and I'm probably gonna continue to do it because there's definitely more things uh, that I don't have yet. But I wanted to make a little video this Halloween season to encapsulate a lot of these fond Halloween 90s McDonald's memories. And hopefully, this has been a little bit of a blast from the past for you as well. I don't know how to end this video, but um...